So I don't know about you guys, but I can't believe that 2013 is almost here, or here, depending on when you watch this video. There is going to be a little bit of everything in this video. I'm going to have skincare, hair, makeup, just a bunch of random things like snacks and music and YouTubers and just like a general roundup of 2012 and my favorite things of 2012. So I guess I better go ahead and get started because we have a lot of stuff to cover. <laughs> Couldn't talk about my skincare favorites without Bioderma. This is the Sensib Bio H2O, also known as the, I think the Kraline H2O. Don't quote me on that pronunciation because I'm not sure if I said it right. It cleanses your skin and you can also use this to remove makeup and it's a non-rinse formula so you don't have to wash this off of your skin after you use it. For moisturizer, my favorite this year has been the Carez Wild Rose and Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial, which is a mouthful of a name. It's not greasy on your skin and it helps with discoloration on your face. And then I'm also throwing in some makeup wipes. These are the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes, which are my new favorite. I love these. They're really gentle. They don't break me out, and they're just great to have around, whether you're not wearing makeup and you just kind of want to freshen up, or if you are wearing makeup, these remove makeup very well. For non-facial skincare products, I have loved the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Clarifying Creamy Shower Gel, and this stuff is amazing. It smells really good. It's hydrating. It lathers up, and it's just so good. For super dry skin, I have loved the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and I found out about this through Fleur or Fleur de Force, so if you need like an intensive treatment for your skin, this is something that's really nice and it's not greasy because I hate having greasy hands. This can be used on your face or anywhere on your body, so I just like using this on my hands and the size is convenient to carry around in my bag. <laughs> I have been in love with macadamia products this year, and these are my two favorites. This is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. It's an amazing, super hydrating deep conditioner, and it makes your hair smell so good, and it's also really great at detangling. Then I have the Macadamia Nourishing Leave-In Cream. This stuff is really conditioning. It helps control frizz and flyaways, and I just put this in my hair while it's still damp, and then I style as usual, and it makes a huge, huge difference. <music> Revlon Colorstay has definitely been my most worn foundation this year. It gives great coverage, it's very buildable, and I also love the lasting power of this foundation. For covering up blemishes and discoloration like hyperpigmentation, my favorite concealer has been the Physician's Formula Concealer RX. I wear the shade Natural Light, and this is an amazing dupe for the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This gives incredible coverage. You can cover up anything with this stuff, and I really, really love it. It's definitely thick, but it doesn't feel heavy and cakey on your skin. For covering up dark circles underneath the eyes, Surprise, surprise, I have the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. This stuff is an amazing dupe for the Ycell Radiant Touch Highlighting Pen, and I personally think that this one is better. I feel like it gives better coverage, and you can get it at the drugstore. <laughs> For blush, I have decided that my favorite this year has been the Rimmel Pink Sorbet Blush. I love this color. I'm wearing it today. It's just very soft and natural, and it has a really, really soft, pearly shimmer to it. For bronzer, I definitely have to go with NYC's Sunny, and you can use this for contouring, and you can also use this just to add a little bit of glow to your face. It's awesome because it's not too orange, it's not too muddy, it's just perfect. I have Tanya Burr to thank for this next product. This this is Dior's Amber Diamond and it is my favorite highlighter. It's so beautiful and Tanya was the one who told me about this because it's her favorite. I love how the colors go from a light to a slightly darker golden color. So when you mix everything together and you put it on your cheekbones, it just creates the most gorgeous glow. <laughs> 
My favorite cream eyeshadow this year has been Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, and the entire Color Tattoo line is just awesome, and I really like this color just because it's the most versatile for me. And since I couldn't just pick one single eyeshadow because I feel like that's pretty much like impossible for me, I decided to pick my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. These eyeshadows in here have been my favorite this year, and I like this palette better than the first one just because I like wearing cooler colors on my eyes, and when I travel, I don't really have to worry about packing like a bunch of single eyeshadows. I can just throw this in and know that I'm pretty much covered as far as eyeshadow goes. <laughs> So this isn't going to be much of a surprise for you guys, but my favorite mascara this year has been the Maybelline Falsies Flared. I talk about this all the time because it is my favorite mascara. I really, really love the formulation of this. I feel like it just works really well for my lashes. It makes them look thicker and longer. I love the brush. It makes it super easy to get like the little baby lashes. I really, really love this mascara because it does not smudge on me and that is something I really, really appreciate. And then another product that I love because it does not smudge on me is this eyeliner from NARS. This is the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner and I love using this on the inner rims of my eyes. So my upper inner rim and then along my waterline. And I know that this stuff will not smudge when I use it and that's why I love it so much. I have really oily eyes for some reason. I don't know why, but if I don't prime my eye area properly or if I don't use waterproof products, I will just end up with panda eyes. And I love pandas, but I don't always want to look like one. <laughs> Dior's Creme de Rose Lip Balm has been my favorite this year, and I put this on usually at night, but I will use it during the day sometimes too. And I love this because it's really thick and luxurious, and when I go to sleep, I know that it's really hydrating because when I wake up, my lips are super soft, and I can still feel it on my lips. And then I also have my Maybelline Baby Lips in Fruit Punch, and this has been my favorite lip color this year, and I'm wearing it on my lips today, and I just I really like the soft pink color. I like how it's really hydrating and I love the taste and smell. For lip gloss, I talk about this color quite a bit and I use it a lot. This is my go-to lip gloss color. It's beige by NYX and it's really weird because this isn't a beige color at all. It's like a mauve pink color. <laughs> Essie's Fiji. Whenever I don't know what color to paint my nails, I just automatically choose this color. It's a really, really beautiful, creamy, milky, baby pink color. <laughs> Burberry Brit Sheer has definitely been my favorite fragrance this year. It's something that I can put on and I don't have to worry about putting too much on because it's a really light, fresh scent and I love that. My favorite place for online clothing shopping this year has definitely been Daily Look and I discovered Daily Look this past year and I've been using their site and I really, really like it and I've talked about them quite a bit because I love their stuff and they're basically just like an outfit of the day site where they have new outfits of the day every day and then you can buy the items if you want to or you can just look at the items and get inspiration for different outfits. So I really love the versatility of the site. One of the things I've been wearing a lot recently from Daily Look is this green coat and if you watched Vlogmas then you saw me wearing this and I just love this green color. I really wanted a green coat because I remember Blair Waldorf wearing a green coat in Gossip Girl and I remember when I saw her in that coat I just fell in love with the idea of a green coat so I've been looking for one ever since and when I saw this one I just knew I had to have it because I was like Blair Waldorf's green coat I've been looking for one like this for so long I'll be sure to put daily looks link down below if you want to go and check out their site and I will also put links for everything else in this video that I have shown or I'm about to show because it just makes it easier for you guys if you want to go and check things out yourself. Another fashion favorite has been J. Crew Pixie Pants. I've worn these 
so much this past year and I love them. They're super comfortable and these are like the best leggings that I have ever owned. They're super durable and also really flattering. And then my go-to shoes this year have been these guys. These are my Platinum Sperry's and they're definitely very, very worn because I've worn them a lot, but they are super comfortable and when you break them in, they just get even more comfortable and I really like the cushy bottom and I feel like they have just a really nice classic look to them. Three words, cinnamon, sugared, donut. Being the donut lover that I am, how could I not love something that's named cinnamon, sugared, donut? This is like right up my alley and it smells heavenly it's so good got it from bath and body works you know you know gotta rep the bath and body works you know the drill for board game i gotta go with settlers of Catan. this is a great game to play with friends and i feel like it really brings everybody together and before you know it you will probably end up having Catan nights because it is just that fun and my favorite video game this year has been plants vs zombies oh my gosh such a fun game. I played it on Xbox on my phone and I got it for my iPad when they came out with the HD version. And you basically have to defend your house from zombies using garden plants. That game is just so addicting. It was hard to pick just one, but I'm gonna have to go with Lightning by Alex Goot. I love that song, and when we were on tour, Julia, Chrissy, and I had to have our designated fangirl moment every night when he would play that song, and we would just dance and just enjoy the song because we all loved it. So that being said, I think that it's appropriate that we have a designated fangirl moment for Lightning right now. And catching myself thinking of it. We had our designated fangirl moment. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And that reminded me to include another favorite. I couldn't do a 2012 favorites video without including this guy here. I was gonna say little guy, but he's not so little anymore. This is Nuggos, or Nugget. Um, and he is my little ragdoll cat. And he just turned one on December 28th and I got him this past year and he's just been the best thing and I love him so much. I love having him around. Sometimes I feel like a crazy cat lady because I just love my cat so much, but I do and I can't help it and I've accepted it. Ben and Jerry's chocolate therapy, oh my gall, this stuff is so good. Game of Thrones, for sure, and just the Song of Ice and Fire series in general. I have a review of this book on my second channel, which I will link down below, where I go into detail about the book and what it's about. It's a pretty complex story, so I did my best at trying to explain it, but this is just the most amazing series, and I highly recommend the TV show as well. <laughs> So speaking of the Game of Thrones TV show, I have to put Game of Thrones as one of my favorite TV shows for the entire year. I feel like they do a really great job at bringing the story from the books to life and you can really see that in their production and the actors that they have chosen are also incredible as well. Dexter has also been another favorite this year and Dexter is about Dexter who is basically the world's most lovable serial killer and it just kind of follows his story. And then of course I gotta have my Pretty Little Liars fix. For some reason Pretty Little Liars just really 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 sucked me in this. Oh hello Nugget! I had loved the show before but I really became an avid watcher this year. So now I'm just waiting for the mid-season premiere, which is going to be awesome. If you saw the Halloween special, oh my gall, it was crazy. So I cannot wait for the show to return. And if you love Pretty Little Liars, you should tell me down below in the comments because it's always nice to know when other people love the show as well, but such a good show. 
Last, but certainly not least, my favorite YouTubers for the entire year, the people that I have just loved watching and every time they post a new video, I am just like, yes, new video. And my guy favorite is Tyler Oakley. I love him. He is so funny. Every time he posts a new video, I am just like, yes. And I love following him on Twitter and Instagram and I feel like I'm kind of like a stalker a little bit because I follow him on all those places. I will have his channel linked down below. You guys need to go and subscribe to him if you haven't already. He is so, so funny and he is one of my favorite people to follow on Twitter because like all of his tweets are just so good and his Instagram pictures so good. Like, the captions just make the photo. He is just awesome. And for female YouTuber, my favorite of the year is Stila Babe 09. Meredith, I love you. You are so adorable, so cute, and your videos are amazing. Every time Meredith posts a video, she just puts a smile on my face. She's so funny and so cute, but she has great tips too, and I love her style. And when I watch one of her videos, I feel like I'm being transported into like a different world, and I love that. She's just so much fun and such a breath of fresh air and sunshine on YouTube, and I I just love watching her videos and she gives great beauty and style tips too so that's just a bonus so Meredith I love you and thank you for your videos I will also have Meredith's channel down below so if you are not subscribed to her go subscribe because if you love beauty and fashion you will love her so I think that pretty much wraps up my 2012 favorites I can't believe this year is over what the heck 2013 where did you come from I'm excited for this next year and I'm really excited to be able to share it with you guys and thank you to everybody who has been along with me for the past year and the year before that and the year before that so here's to another amazing year ahead of all of us and I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys later bye yeah, I've been catching myself thinking it. it was three in the morning every day I chase after her I can't catch lightning, catching myself thinking